Hey guys, we're going to be going over the fourth nine weeks, week six morning work. All right, ready? Add an ending punctuation mark to the sentence below. Our sun is not completely yellow. Do they ask us a question? No. It was more of a statement. So we're going to do a period. If there was a lot of um, excitement or feeling emotion, then we would have done an exclamation mark. But it was just kind of a boring old, our sun is not completely yellow. Add an ending punctuation mark to the sentence below. Do you know why our sun is not completely yellow? Did they ask us a question? Yes, yes they did. So do, that's one of our question words. So we're going to... Add a question mark at the end. Add an ending punctuation mark to the sentence below. There are dark spots on the sun called sunspots. Was that read with a lot of emotion or just regular old sentence? Alrighty. It didn't ask us a question, so we're going to do a period. Wow, I can't believe it. We need to add an ending punctuation mark. What are we going to add there? An exclamation mark. Great, because we've read it with a lot of emotion. We were excited. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go to the second line. Correct the mistake in the sentence. Stars come in many different colors. Hmm, what word doesn't look right? Good. You spell colors. C O L. O R S. Correct the mistake in the sentence. Blue stars are the youngest stars in the sky. Well, all the words are spelled right. Hmm. Oh no, it didn't start with a capital letter. All right, so we need to fix that. All right, correct the mistake in the sentence. Yellow stars are older than blue stars. Well, everything is spelled right, and it's got a capital letter at the beginning. Oh, there's not an ending. Okay, yellow stars are older than blue stars. Is that an exciting sentence? Did we read it with a lot of emotion? No, did they ask us a question? No, so we're just going to put a period. Correct mistake. Red star or the oldest stars in the sky. Hmm, doesn't sound right. So this is supposed to be a plural noun because it's more than one star. So red stars are the oldest stars in the sky. Good. Underline all the nouns in the sentence. Our sun is a yellow star. Your hint is there are two. Okay, so the sun is a noun and the star is a noun. Underline all the nouns in this sentence. Stars create light and heat. Your hint, there are three. Stars are a thing, light is a thing, and heat is a thing. Underline all the nouns in the sentence. Light from the sun warms the earth. Light in this sentence, in this context, is a noun. The sun is a noun, and earth is a noun. Underline all the nouns in the sentence. The sun is larger than all our all our planets and moons. There's three of them, guys. Sun, planets, moons. Good job. Change each singular noun into a plural noun. Remember, singular means single, so just one. Plural means more than one. Boat, table, chair. Boat, one boat, two boats. You just add an S right here. Table, one table, 
two tables. We're going to add an S. Chair, one chair, two chairs. Good, good job, guys. Which noun should be capitalized? Earth, planet, star. We're looking for a specific noun, a proper noun. Did they say which planet right here? Planet Earth? Okay. So that's one. What about planet? Does it say which planet? No. Did it say which star? No. Okay. Change each singular noun into a plural noun. Clock, pencil, paper. One clock, two clocks. Remember, guys, singular means one, and plural means more than one. Pencil, one pencil, two pencils. Paper, one paper, two papers. And make sure that you're looking at the end of the word. Sometimes you'll add an S or an ES. Or if there's a Y, you'll drop the Y and add I, E, S. But all of these needed S's. Which noun should be ca capitalized? Book, Harry Potter, magazine. Book. Did they tell you which book? No. Harry Potter. Did they tell you which specific book? Yes. Magazine. Did they tell you which magazine? Nope. Underline the verb in the sentence. Scientists studied the sun for years. Now remember, a verb is an action word. So what did they do? The scientists did what? They studied. Good. Is the verb past, present, or future tense? Scientists studied the sun for years. So we already know that this is the word that we're going to be looking at, right? So look at the ending. There's a D. So sometimes that automatically tells you that it's already happened. But let's talk about the word study. I'm going to study. I will study. I am studying. I studied already. So it's going to be a past tense because it's already happened. Scientists will explore the sun more. We need to underline the verb, guys. They will do what? They will explore. Okay? So we already know. Let's circle that. Is the verb past, present, or future tense? The scientists will explore. So that's what we're looking at right here. Did they already explore? We've explored. We're exploring or we will explore okay we will that means it's in the future they haven't done it yet write an adjective that could describe a pencil the blank pencil now remember an adjective is a word that describes a noun so any word that you could think of that would describe pencil um, will be correct you don't have to use the word that I'm going to use so it could be the fat pencil, the skinny pencil, the yellow pencil, the lead pencil, the dull pencil, the sharp pencil, anything you want that could describe the word pencil. I'm going to do the new pencil. Write an adverb that could describe how you run. Well, I'm going to use slowly. Um, but any adverb um, that you use to describe the word ran um, is talking about how you're going to run. How did you run when you got there? Um, or how did you run to get there? Okay, so I ran slowly. Remember, an adverb is a word that describes a verb. Write an adjective that could describe a book. Any word that can describe a book. Okay, so it could be the thin book, the thick book, the big book, the small book, the boring book, the scary book, um, anything you want. So I'm going to do the princess book. 
write an adjective or excuse me write an adverb that could describe how you read hmm I read blank or it could be how you read um so I'm gonna say I read quickly because I didn't get that question out all the way I read quickly all right circle the compound words remember compound words are two words that get married and they make a new word with a new meaning life and time lifetime okay telly and vision hmm this one's a tough one so telly is considered if if you were to take the word television apart vision can stand alone but telly could not okay so this is not a compound word for us class and room classroom any body okay school is school two words no way computer comp uter is that two words no bedroom bed and room alrighty how many syllables are each word bookshelf if you don't want to clap you can bookshelf right butterflies butterflies somewhere Split the word into parts. Write the meaning of the word. Railroad. What are the two words that make the word railroad? A rail and a road. And it means a road of rails. Good. All right, write a compound word that means the imprint of a foot. Foot, 